Hey everybody, Sunset Games here. Welcome back to another video. And today, we just got the Ender 3 V3 SE. I don't know what the SE means, but it's in the, it was in the mail, and now it's here. So I already opened it up courtesy of going along with the random tools I use to open things up. I opened it up with the scraper from the V2, which I don't ever think I did a video on, actually. Got it such a long time ago. And I don't think I ever got the footage. If I even still have it, I don't know if I do. But I figured this one, let's do it. Here it is. Obviously foam. That'll help with the project I'm working on. I haven't announced yet. Or already have, depending. Quick insulation guide, as usual. Maybe that is cleaner or something. It's usually a nozzle cleaner that has a little like puff thing on it. Weird. Okay. So, yeah. Our tool bag is open for whatever reason. All our tools, what we all we need. We'll go through that in a second. Put them all there. Uh, oh, this one comes with an actual, like, proper drive. My Ender 3V2 did not have that. It's a nice cord. Uh, I was going to say it's just a single stepper motor. It's a bit of weird. Oh, even the screen's smaller. It's like a little phone. That's so weird. Okay. And... Then, yeah, the spool holder. So that's just how that goes. More phone. Chug it. Get rid of it. Or do something. Whatever works. And more foam. Tons of foam. It's a brand new piece of cardboard. Okay. Okay, this is the machine. I'm gonna get out of the box. Hold on a minute. Alright, so once you get rid of a good amount of foam again, there's these two pieces on the side that just kind of went right there and there. So I took those out. And like random little piece and whatnot. So, the top piece came out first. That is just your all-in-one with absolutely everything. Which, if we go over, has our X-axis and our Y-axis with... Wait, no, Z. This is our Z-axis. Yes. These ones here, Z-axis. It has dual Z-axis, but only one stepper motor, which is a little strange. But I can't complain, because it is still better than my other one, which honestly could use that. And so this is the build plate. Same size. Not really any different. I don't think it's any different at all, actually. And there's more foam underneath, because, you know, why not? So take that foam out, take that foam out. And, yeah, there is nothing else under there. Wait. Maybe there is. Kind of sounds like it. Weird. Okay. It sounds awfully loud. It's like something's almost like scraping. I don't know. Maybe I'm delusional. Okay. So, screen plug-in. This will be your... I'm not sure. Oh, Z. I'm, gonna say, I'm not sure what N means. That's your Z, obviously. And your X and a huge connector I've never seen before. Oh, that's interesting. On off button on the side. Uh, no, is there a, a voltage switch? There is a voltage switch, so it is set to 230 volts right now. So before anything, make sure you set that to whatever you're using. I use 115. Pretty much everyone in a house in Canada. I don't know how it is in the US, but in Canada, it's 115. So set it to that. I don't actually know what happens if you set it to 230. And I don't think anything would happen. Probably just wouldn't work. But yeah, here is the build plate. It's nice and magnetic, so I don't have to go buy another stupid magnetic one. Uh, the thing about these though is you can't always line them up perfectly. See, that's slightly off. You can like do it a few times. There. Oh, wait. It has it has little notches, little screw notches. There. No, still didn't get it. There. Now we're good. I don't recall that moving back that far up my mine's over there. It is an absolute mess in here, so ignore the mess. This is why I'm recording over here. It's a bit nicer over here. This is the gym part. And also new house. Again, because why not? 
Okay, I'm gonna try to get this assembled a bit. And I'll come back when that thing's on. Okay, I lied. It's not together yet, but we're gonna go over this real quick. So you get all your tools in this bag here. Uh, this will come into here, so take that out of the cardboard, rip the cardboard, whatever. Have fun with it. Uh, you get crappy filament. That's, uh, yeah, I don't know. At least in my experience, that is crappy filament. I don't know if it's actually Creality film, and I would guess so. It's pretty crap. Again, that's on my other printer, so hopefully this one's better, but who knows. So, screws, screws, a nozzle, and some screws, and whatever that is, more screws. So, that's pretty much it for that. Obviously, I showed you guys the bag, USB, this bag, installation guide, and probably warranty, and possibly stickers that's actually kind of cool I didn't get stickers in the last one and yeah well, there's some other stuff that we're gonna go over well we already went over it but anyways to that okay so did a little off camera work but uh if you're looking for what you need to do exactly this manual is very helpful um basically uh i'm three by 14 screws it says on there, so these ones, 3 by 14, right? So there is three screws here on the bottom, and three screws here on the bottom. So when you slap that top piece on, you're going to do that. But I recommend putting the M3 by 8 screws first. You put two of them right there, and then that'll hold the top on just enough to get those ones on. And, uh, yeah, then... Pretty much the only other things you have to do is plug everything in, which is pretty simple. The big long cable here, you basically just shove into here. I don't, I didn't do it properly, but really I don't think it's going to come out of there. It's not going to be flung around. So yeah, plug everything in. That goes down there. This one here, that one there. And these two screws up here, those, uh, those literally just in one bag. Those come in the same bag as those ones. So this will secure your top piece and make sure this thing is sticking towards the front. So yeah, that uh, that is our printer right there, and it is it, uh, it's looking sexy. I don't know if that's just me, but it's looking sexy. So let's see what our manual says next, and yeah, again, flip the switch at the back, make sure it's set the right thing. I believe it's set to two twenty eight default because most. Uh, print farms or facilities use that kind of thing and I know a lot of these printers are bought for that kind of thing because well I'm, I'm assuming definitely this one this one's got all the upgrades and stuff and I got it for probably like 280 Canadian which is not bad it was on a super sale I don't know if it's still on but go check it out I'll leave a link to the description link in the description not to the description I don't think you need a link to that if you do you, I don't know you shouldn't be on YouTube okay for printing, blah, 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 operation, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically you're good to go. I don't, I'm really confused of what these are for because there's still another bag that has a nozzle and some weird bracket and two other screws. Hello? Oh, okay. No one cares. Get rid of it, who cares? We don't need that anymore. Get rid of that. No, uh, get rid of that too. Start getting rid of it. Who needs the tools? We don't need tools anymore. It's already built. And that thing too. Okay. So, let's peel this off. There you go. That is pretty much everything. I need another table or something. Because I have it on right now. It is on that thing. It has a lot of upgrades now. It has a direct drive and a uh, reality touch. Which this has the sprite direct drive. So it's the up, up, upper up of mine. Plus the CR touch. You can't really see it. It's down there, though. It's kind of cool. It's really large, though. I will say, compared to that one. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't really know if you should put it on this thing. This thing kind of sucks, to be honest. That thing is, I don't know. If, maybe I'll just put it on my desk. My desk is really going to rattle, though. I'll figure something out. We'll come back when I figure something out. Okay. Now that we got it all sorted. Yes, my room is a little better now. 
It only took like five minutes. Don't worry. Uh, you know what I? You know what I noticed? Where's my drawer? Where is my drawer? What am I gonna do with this? I don't even have enough space in here, is it? Huh? Crowdy. Where's my drawer? <laughs> Seriously. It's not that hard. I have literally no storage for any of this. It doesn't make any sense. There's nothing to hold anything. At least I don't think. I don't know. None of this looks like it holds anything. So what am I going to do with my tools? Put them here. That looks professional. Anyways, rant over. Let's load up some filament. But let's get this thing on. Ooh, that thing is actually really nice looking. It looks way better in person, do not worry. Okay, English. You wanna focus, camera? Camera. Focus. Really? Nothing? Okay, my camera wants to be idiotic today. Uh, let's see, what do we got on the print file? Cat. We'll print the cat. Uh, question is though, do I use my filament? Because I have a lot of it down there. Or do I use the filament it came with? I guess we should try the filament it came with, because everyone's going to be trying that. Let's get this thing leveled, though. Let's try it out. Auto level. Just going to go and zoom around real quick. I'm just going to act like an idiot. Okay. Is that because I have it set? Hold on. Maybe I didn't have it set. I'll, I'll look back at that in the footage. I might have just been stupid. You know, not set it far enough away from the wall. That's slightly important. Let's see, there's the CR touch. It's coming down. Just be here another hour. Yeah, I could speed it up. Could add music. I'm not going to. <laughs> This is the authentic experience. And it's booping it. We're just gonna come back when it's done booping because I'm pretty sure it boops it like 70 times. Oh, wait. No, yeah, it's gonna boop it like 90 times. Hold on. Can't let you guys see this in action. It's actually pretty cool. So it's last two things here. And it just pops up on the screen as soon as it's done. Check that out. Only one that's really far out is that corner for some reason. And I'm not really sure how... I don't think you can adjust it. I'm pretty sure it's all just fixed. So, let's just do it in software, I guess, and just move it where it needs to move and be good. It's pretty cool, though. It's definitely more advanced than that one. I love that one. It just does its, like, boops around, but it doesn't tell me anything on screen. It doesn't know. So, yeah. The beeper's a little louder. Food, retract, preheat PLA. Let's see what the temperature usually is for preheat PLA. Yeah, I like mine at 205 and 50. And maxed as well. Should probably save that. I don't know if I actually saved it. The other one goes like beep, beep, beep. So yeah, if we prepare, preheat PLA. Let's try the cat out. Confirm. Cat IP code. Try to clear that off. Yeah, you clear whatever that is. If it wants to. Wow, that's really on there. Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, so calibration, it's just leveling it again. Whatever, it doesn't hurt. Might as well. We're waiting for it to heat up anyway, so. Well, heat up and cool down. Or just override my settings entirely, okay. Fine. Be that way. Uh, I got some files here I'm probably gonna get going. And, uh. Yeah. That's pretty much the video, right? So I'll see if I can set my phone up somewhere and give you guys a time lapse or something.